Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today I'm going to be talking about a mining operating system and kind of going over the different features and kind of how it works. Um, if this is something that you're interested in, there is a link to this operating system down in the description below. It is completely free to use for your first three mining rigs. So if you are looking to make a change in your mining operation or get into mining, this is a great way to do it um, at a very cost effective way. You don't have to pay for like a light license for Windows or something like that. So I'll be getting into that here in just a minute. Before we get into that, I do want to start off by saying I'm very, very sorry I have not been posting here on the channel. I have received a number of community guideline strikes on videos that were years old. I have been in contact with YouTube and unfortunately there is nothing I can do about it. So I have not been able to upload for the past two weeks. It's been just as frustrating for me as I'm sure it has been for you guys. I know we were on a pretty good roll every other day upload and the community seemed to be really liking the content I was doing. So I do plan to get back on that every other day cycle. Uh, starting with this video really and continuing hopefully through 2021 now I did receive two strikes on the channel and if you're not familiar with what that means with YouTube if I receive a third chances are Bitcoin tips will be completely deleted I would hate to see that happen but at this point there is absolutely nothing I can do since the videos that were getting flagged were literally two years old so I have created a second YouTube channel called Bitcoin Tips 2. I will be putting a link to this down in the description below. In the event that something does happen to Bitcoin Tips, I will continue to post on this channel. Now, I, with that being said, I hope I never post a video to this channel. I never intend to unless the channel you're watching this video on gets deleted. So. I know this is kind of late, but if you want to stay up to date with Bitcoin tips in the event something does happen, subscribe here and in the description below is a link to my Discord. Check that out down below. That's a great place to stay up to date. I've been posting updates throughout the last two weeks there with what's been going on. So if you want to be a part of the community even more past YouTube, check that out in the description below. And finally, before we get into the video, I do want to say a huge thank you to our paid member so thank you for subscribing i do appreciate that it does help out and make videos like these where it's about mining and physical um, hardware related to cryptocurrency a lot more possible so let's get into the video today so i'm going to be talking about hive os now if you missed the last kind of update videos here i recently purchased six rx 580 8 gigabyte graphics cards to update the mining rig that i originally built back in 2017 which at the time i originally purchased two 1060 6 gigabyte cards and eventually a few months later i bought a 1060 3 gigabyte card which was a big mistake on my part because of the incompatibilities with the ram and then eventually, probably, uh, I believe it was in 2019, I bought three more 1660 Ti graphics cards. With that setup, I could only mine uh, with the two 1060 6 gigs and the three 1660s because of the RAM incompatibility with the three gigabyte card. So I figured Bitcoin was on the way up. It was probably eighteen, nineteen thousand dollars $19,000 at the time. It had not hit its all-time high when I decided to upgrade this. But I thought, you know... It's been a while since we've seen it going up like this. I'm going to invest in some new mining hardware and hope it continues to go up. And, well, last time I checked it, Bitcoin was uh, very, very high, $28,657. Now, Bitcoin going up is great, but I am actually mining Ethereum. So, Ethereum's at $737. Now, that's insane that's up 30 percent in the last seven days so that's really good news for me um so i decided to use hive os now for the longest time i have been using windows with the nice hash windows miner and when i decided to upgrade the mining rig i was actually going to switch to nice hash os but for whatever reason, I could not figure out why Nice Hash OS would not boot on my mining rig. I couldn't figure out if it was something in the BIOS, something with my flash drive. I, it just didn't make any sense. It would load and get stuck in part of the boot process and never get past it. So 
HiveOS was another option I had been looking into and ultimately what I ended up with. I have really, really enjoyed it. This HiveOS makes it super easy to monitor, configure, overclock, and just run a mining farm. Now at this point I do only have one mining rig, but they do have a really well-built iPhone app, which I do use. Um, I don't have an Android device. I do assume they have an Android app, but I am not sure, and I am not sure how it works. But the web interface and the iPhone app are both very, very well-built. So as you can see, I have a farm called Bitcoin Tips Farm. You can see I have one rig online. The rig has six GPUs. Efficiency is 99.29%. The overall rig is using 493 watts. I'll explain why I have a $0 balance, my free price because I don't have more than three rigs, and it's mining at 170.7 mega hashes. Again, that's displayed up here, where if you hover over these, you can kind of see how that works out. If I wanted to create a new farm, you would just come here and do that. I don't need a new farm, but that is like that. On this page, you also have some tabs here which is wallets. You can see right now I just have my NiceHash wallet hooked up here and I will be doing a more in-depth video on setting up NiceHash wallet with a flight sheet to mine through NiceHash. Now, flight sheets are what HiveOS calls their mining algorithm. So basically what you do is you install the NiceHash OS on a flash drive, plug it into your computer, and everything is done at that computer through this. It is a Linux-based terminal. You can type on it, but it's so much easier to do through the web interface. So if I wanted to add a new flight sheet, what I would do is say I want to mine Ethereum. I want to mine, I don't have any wallets that accept Ethereum because my uh, NiceHash one is a Bitcoin wallet. I would choose a wallet here for Ethereum. I would then select a pool and then a miner and then you just name it whatever you'd like and you say create flight sheet. Once you have created the flight sheet, what you would do is go back to your farm, click into here, and this is where you start to see more information. This would be where I would see all of my rigs in the farm. At this time, I only have one, so I would click into here, and this is where you're starting to get a little bit more information and it can kind of start to look a little confusing. But once you've created that flight sheet, you would come over here and you just click the rocket and it starts mining with those presets. So currently right now I'm mining to my NiceHash wallet using the NiceHash pool. As you can see, it's mining Dagger Hashimoto using Phoenix Miner through the NiceHash pools. So definitely kind of confusing, but once you get it going, really easy to switch on the fly. If I wanted to start mining, uh, with Kukuru 29 instead of Dagger Hashimoto, all I'd have to do is click this. It would start using G Miner through the same wallet and all that. So, what's really nice is you go through one time, set up all the coins with the different algorithms, the miners, the wallets that you would possibly want to mine. And if you wake up one day and check what's to mine or the prices, and you see that maybe mining, um, a coin like Ravencoin is more profitable today than Ethereum, where yesterday Ethereum was more profitable. All you have to do is come here, click the rocket, and it will uh, take a few seconds to load, but it will send that command and update on the rig automatically over the network. Very, very simple. So definitely really, really cool. Kind of looking at this overview, though, this is the rig overview of my 6x RX580 rig. So again, up here you see I'm using Phoenix Miner, mining ETHash, um, mining through NiceHash. So again, this percentage is my efficiency, A, and then this number is my accepted shares, the R, and this number is the rejected, and the red 7 is invalid shares. So moving along here, you have your hash rate and temperatures, and then the percentage is the fan speed, and the lower number is the hash rate per card. So definitely really cool. You can see that last time I booted was 22 days ago. It's been running with no issues for 21 days and 23 hours. IP address is blurred out and the version of HiveOS. Now I haven't updated just because it's running stable and I don't want to cause any issues, but eventually I will need to update it. Um, 
this kind of stuff here is the commands that you send so as you can see like these AMD settings applied that's anything to do with overclocking or fan speeds um, rig config changed that's something like uh, your mining algorithms uh, netstat that was some uh, DHCP stuff I was doing through the network settings and then like rebooting it makes sense but over time it does kind of not really matter like I like you can see I haven't done anything for 16 days and if you wanted to clear those you just click that trash can this here just an overview chart of your uh, mega hashes or your speed of whatever you're mining as you can see there's a few dips where who knows what happens it's very quick um, but for the most part steady at 170 will round up to 171 you can even see here there was a time when it did jump up Scrolling down here, we have the individual cards. Again, this is the information of the card, its number in the rig, how many gigs of RAM, the brand of RAM, all of that. And then these here are the invalid shares, which cards got them, how many they have, mega hashes, temperatures, fan speeds, and then this whole section from the 83 watt over is all the overclock settings. I'll be doing a more in-depth video on how to overclock through NiceHash, whereas this is just kind of an overview of the interface. Down here is just a few other information uh, bits, your uh, CPU temperature, free memory, free RAM. Um, oh, I'm sorry, this is free space on the drive. This is free RAM. Um, power consumption, version, and then just your miners and stuff like that some system information which again this will probably all be blurred out and then more system information over here motherboard cpu ram disks all of that so definitely really really cool how much information and customizability you get for absolutely free this is a great program if you kind of know what you're doing in mining i probably would not recommend this program to someone who is just about to start mining for the first time ever because this does require that you know a little bit about kind of how the programs work how overclocking works stuff like that whereas something like nice hash if you already have a windows computer you just click a button and it starts mining the most profitable coin for you now with my six 580s calculated right now you can see that ethereum with uh, just mining ethereum straight up i should be making about ten dollars and 19 cents before power a day i have zero entered in for power here and then nice hash ethereum is about 957. for me it's convenience to mine through nice hash that's why i'm doing it i will take that little bit of hit that's a personal decision for me it might be something that you would not want to do but that's my personal decision i like the nice hash conversion and all that it makes it a little bit easier for me so again just across here you have your flight sheets overclocking which again i'll do a more in-depth video on tuning stats activity and settings here stats is just kind of your graphs on fan speeds power um, the mega hashes all of that and then activity you can see this is all of the stuff i've done these are all these commands once they kind of go away on here because there'll only be about as much as you see here i can go all the way back to like page five here which was over a month ago the flight sheets i created the overclocks i did stuff like that so really really cool and then just kind of up top you have your basic tools which you hover over and they tell you what to do power actions reboot the rig servers open vpn update or downgrade run commands flight sheets your uh, internet configuration tags remote access minor action hash rate watchdog fans worker options remove the rig auto refresh and then a refresh button so hopefully this video kind of um helped simplify some of uh, what's going on with hive os because it can be pretty confusing and i do like i said plan to do in-depth videos on some of the more complicated features like creating flight sheets doing some basic overclocking stuff like that um and if you're interested i can do a video on how to install hive os onto a flash drive it is pretty simple but it could be something you're interested in so let me know down below in the comments if you're interested in those videos 
Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel if you are interested in seeing more about mining, HiveOS, and just how to earn cryptocurrency overall. And like I said, I do plan to continue getting back on that every other day upload schedule, but in the event that something does happen to where I cannot do that, make sure you're joined in the Discord for the most up-to-date information. I post there whenever something um, major happens, especially with all of these community guideline strikes. And make sure you check out the link to Bitcoin Tips 2 in the description below if you're interested in staying up to date with my content, hopefully I will never have to post here and we can kind of put this behind us. I will say that the community guideline strikes I have now do go through March of 2021. Nothing will happen if I, if, if I don't get any strikes between now and March, I believe, 8th. 2021, which is about 63 days, I, I calculated that earlier today, nothing will happen to Bitcoin tips, which is what we can hope for. Best case scenario, they sit there, they look scary, and nothing happens until March, and then they go away as if it never happened. Can't promise that will happen, but let's just hope for the best. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like if you liked it. If you didn't leave a dislike and let me know why you didn't like it down in the comments below. But please like, share, and subscribe to my Bitcoin Tips YouTube channel to learn more about spending, collecting, earning, and investing different types of cryptocurrencies. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.